It's all in Leicester's hands, the people champions of the FA Cup, and they're going to do it in the top four. Brendan Rodgers, it's in Liverpool's hands. Liverpool with Alisson's fantastic header. Liverpool all in their hands to finish top four. Boom. Shut up. Let's get cracking. Guys, I'm pumped. This is Charles Toft. Welcome to my channel. Have that Sky. Have that BBC. Have that Brendan Rodgers. Have that Jurgen Klopp. Stick it where the sun don't shine because Chelsea when, stood up when they needed to last night. We've got to be honest, all of us were shitting ourselves before the game. Having seen the team selection, Havertz's hamstring, Kovacic on the bench, wondering what Leicester were going to do with the fact that Madison was in and Ian Acho was out, a 4-1, 4-1. They're going to crowd out our midfield. We're going to be overrun. And it was nervy. Before the game, very, very nervy. But to say that Chelsea turned up, to say that Chelsea stood up, to say that Chelsea fought for every single ball is an understatement. Last night, we were outstanding. Should have won the game first half, put it to bed. Yes, people are moaning about Timo Werner being offside, but Timo Werner makes his run and he needs that ball first time. In some occasions, people take one extra touch before they pass it to him, or they hesitate or delay slightly. Timo Werner was outstanding, along with everybody else to a man yesterday. And what a massive performance, what a massive result. And it's now, we're in the box seat. We are in the box seat. Liverpool, four points behind us. Liverpool, all in their hands, four points behind us. And they're going to take on the Burnley side that got beat 4-0 in their last game that want to go out in front of their own fans at the end of the season, their last home game tonight, and give them something to, sh to cheer for. This is no easy game for Liverpool. If Burnley take a point off Liverpool, I will laugh my head off. Seriously. They could win, and it goes to the final day of the season. And if it does, if Liverpool win tonight, it's Leicester that move into fifth place. Liverpool into fourth, going into the final day. Liverpool take on a Crystal Palace side who want to put a performance for Roy Hodgson in his last game as Palace manager. Leicester go and face Tottenham at home, and it's Tottenham's possible last game with Harry Kane. They want to finish the season on a high and not roll over. And of course, we go to Aston Villa, and Aston Villa want to do the same in front of their own fans. But from where we were before kickoff to where we are now is a marked difference. We are in the box seat. We dominated Leicester, but for a stupid mistake and them capitalising, they didn't really have a lot to shout about. Yes, Perez should have done a lot better at the end of the game when he skied one over the bar. But by then, the amount of chances we created in the first half, the amount of times we got in behind, the amount of spaces we continued to find, and the way the players were moving around and, and just, just working that ball, nice, great one-touch passing, sharp, focused, on it. And that was just unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable to see. Bearing in mind, we, we all didn't know what the reaction was going to be after the cup final. Chelsea had a point to prove, and especially to Mr. Amate, because we've all seen his video in the change room after the game. And as we all saw, pretty much close to the final whistle, a lot of players just reminded Amate that you don't disrespect the badge and the history of a club that's won so much more than you, as for Tony Rudiger. The goal was a great goal, Tony Rudiger sense to bring his hand out of the way and put it off his thigh into the back of the net and Timo finally gets a penalty in the second half maybe it wasn't as clear as the one in the first half which I never know how VAR didn't give that even though the referee missed it even though if you look at the replay the referee's standing right looking at him I, I honestly don't understand how VAR works these days as I say the Werner one the disallowed one the first one he was slightly offside because the pass was delayed slightly second one he's got a shove in the back his natural reaction is to put his arms out to stop himself falling over. He heads it onto his heart, onto his arm. They give it. So you can't really complain about it. But the thing was is that we were so good yesterday. We were on it. We were, we were much better than Leicester in every single department. And the fact that Madison, with his airband, was substituted because he couldn't influence the game. And they went back to Ian Acho and two up front. It just shows you how well we played. But to a man. Every single player played like they had something to prove last night. And in front of 8,000 fans at the bridge, which was great to see and great to hear, obviously, it was such a great performance, a much, much needed performance. And we're now in the box seat. What more can you ask for from a performance last night? We were worried beforehand. 
we stood up, we fought, we battled, and we got the win. This is just a five minute video because I wanted to get it all out there rather than waffle on for ages. You guys know by now what happened. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like on it for me, then subscribe to my channel, but make sure you hit that bell for notifications. You're notified when my videos come out. If you want to see the best Chelsea commentary, in-game ball-by-ball commentary on YouTube, take a look at my last video, scroll through the commentary, and come back here on Sunday. Chelsea Villa, and then the Champions League final. We're in the box seat. Stick it, Sky, BBC, Rogers, and Klopp. See you next time.